In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can easily replace a lens on your X2 P3 in just a matter of a couple minutes. Hello everyone, this is Max from Noisy Hearts Creations and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. And here's a couple of things we're going to need for today's video. A spare lens, a Phillips screwdriver, and my personal favorite, the one that unfortunately gets overlooked a lot, is rubber gloves, and I'll tell you why. So before starting, please make sure your P3 is turned off and unplugged. Now, when this is out of the way, we can manually grab our laser head and move it to a more comfortable position. The very first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove this magnetic cover by simply pulling on the sides. And I found that the easiest place to store it for the time being is just gently putting it on top of this laser head. Now, up here, depending on what kind of lens you have, I have my M lens. All I'm gonna need to do is use that screwdriver we've talked about and unscrew those screws. Once those screws came out, you can simply gently pull on the lens itself and it comes in one piece. Now, some of you also have noticed that I still have my air assist nozzle on. That really makes no difference whether it's on or off during the laser lens installation. But what I do recommend everybody is definitely wear some sort of gloves. That way you are not, and I mean latex gloves preferably, obviously. That way you are not leaving any kind of oil residue on the lens or on any other components in case you were accidentally to grab it. Now let's go ahead and install the new one. Okay, here what should have came with your lens. You should have received two boxes. In one of which you have the actual glass, the actual lens itself. And in the other one is the housing as well as uh, some hardware that you're going to need. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to open this up. And in the back here, you'll see that there's the rubber seal as well as the... I don't know what's called screw, I guess. Not a screw, but basically whatever this metal thing is that screws in to hold the glass in place. I'm sorry, I'm not that technical when it comes to names. And there's also screws, but uh, we can absolutely reuse the screws that came with the original lens, which I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna put those aside. So, like I said, wearing gloves is kind of important. Uh, in this case, you are not leaving any residue or any oils on any of the parts, so. Now, just be careful with those. Grab the housing, and set it here. And now, when you open this up, be careful not to drop it, because like I said, it's kind of fragile, even though they try to pack it pretty nice and tight, it is still a piece of glass. I'm gonna open this up. Carefully unpack it. And when you handle the lens, try to grab it on the sides. Do not grab it this way. So your best bet is to try to grab it on the sides. And as you can see, it's nothing but a piece of glass. And here's a diagram to show you a proper assembly order. So please make sure your lens is flat side down. So let's go ahead and install all the components and be very careful. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this lens itself and gently slide it in there like this. Then you're going to take the rubber seal, put it on top. That way when we're screwing it from the top, it is not going to leave any scratches or crack it by accident. So looking at this thing, you can see there are little notches on the very top. That is something that uh, you're going to be able to grab with your fingernail and kind of screw and unscrew so be very careful like i said it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure or tension it just needs to see, sit there tightly so that's exactly what i'm doing right now okay so now it's nice and tight and at this point the one thing we are left to do is to install it in our p3 let's go ahead and do that 
Now, when I have my new lens assembly in my hands, we're just gonna do the same things in reverse order. But uh, one quick difference here you can notice is the difference in the position of the actual lens in correlation to the blade. Obviously on the L1, it's a little closer to the laser head. On the M1, it's more in the middle. And there's also one um, that's an S lens and I'll show it to you later. But let's go ahead and put the new L lens back in here. All we're gonna do is pop in the very top slot, make sure the L is in the right position and we can actually reuse the, those same screws that came with the M lens. And we're basically done. At this point, the moment you fire up the machine, it's gonna do quick self-diagnostic and it should identify that now it has an L lens installed. Okay, now since we have our P3 up and running again, and we are in Xtool Studio software, we can see that at the bottom, it tells us that the machine has identified the new L lens has been installed. If that did not happen in your case, you can always hit this refresh button and machine should automatically determine what type of lens is currently installed. That is it. There's really not much to it. And I hope you guys liked today's video and please stay tuned for more. There will be more helpful tutorials coming. Bye.